What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meme here. So, I've been, uh, it, it's, listen to this, listen. Yeah, my parents are at home. Pog, are at the store, so, uh, I can talk for however long I want without any background noise. Uh, as long as I don't talk for, like, an hour and they come back. Uh, so... So, uh, I've been, I've been using i3 gaps recently, and I kind of have a setup, kind of, not really. Uh, my poly bar at the top is broken, and I have this bottom bar that I'm yet to remove, and, uh, mainly what I'm talking about is I have a wallpaper, and also I've set up the gaps. Um, I might make them smaller, because they're kind of irritating, they're kind of annoying, and I also might make a, uh, a Fibonacci view of the, of the tiling, instead of a, uh, if you were to get three windows instead of them being like this, it's like that, you know? Um, I'm not sure if that's a thing that you can do in i3, but I hope it is. If so, I might have to move to awesome or something. Um, yeah, it's nice potentially having all of the space. The only issue right now is just that, uh, you know, I, I can't, uh, cause I'm working on my configuration. <sighs> why is my, why is my camera on focus here? Once I'm good with my configuration, um, I'll probably be able to, uh, to edit it. You know, to be honest, let's see if we can, uh... Oh, whoa, perfect, great. Let me move this over here so I can show you guys what I mean. So, uh, yeah, so this is my, uh, big old, uh, background here. As you can tell, if I were to go back into, uh, Firefox, um, for some reason, see how my mouse is all tiny? Look, when I move it over here, it gets super big. I don't know why that happens. Look at that. Why? I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to fix it. Um, so as you could tell, there are gaps. I might make the gaps a bit smaller because they're kind of obvious. But, um, yeah, let me, um, open up a new terminal. So let me go to my dot config. Uh... Okay, there. So, uh, yeah, gaps inner eight. Uh, I'm just gonna change that to gaps inner three, right? And then I could do could thing shift R, boom. See, is there a change? I actually really like this way more, although it's a bit it's a bit hard to notice. Maybe I'll go for uh, four. Uh oh, what did I do wrong? Whoops. Yeah. Okay. I can tell. Four. Uh. That's decent, I guess. Ooh, Discord closed. That's weird. Um, yeah, okay, that looks decent. How'd that look with just Firefox? I actually like that way more. And then I'm going to remove this bottom section, and I'm going to make this top section thinner, ideally. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a good poly bar set up. Yeah, so basically this is a, this is supposed to be a replacement for this bar, uh, except I'm yet to remove this bar at the bottom. It's kind of useless, it just shows like your workspaces. So see how it says two in the corner? Um, on my third monitor it says three, and on my vertical monitor it says one. And so that's basically all it's useful for, and it also tells you errors. This has always shown up for me whenever I install i3, I don't know what the issue was. Um, yeah, so this is supposed to be up here, it's supposed to show your volume. I tried editing it, and that's why there's only half of the volume indicator there. Uh, it shows, uh-oh, should I be showing my Wi-Fi network? Uh, it's, uh, this video is small, anyways. Uh, I'll know what these two are. Um, I think it's by disk usage or something. Uh, that's supposed to be my battery, my, my computer battery or something. I, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure what any of these mean. I just got the default, like... This is an example polybar setup, and I just got it. Um, I I don't know. I, I'm probably gonna get something better, something more customized. Uh, you know, ideally I'd have like my weather here, and then like my my upload download. Ideally, I won't have to upload download at all when um, when I'm not using anything with the internet. If I'm uploading downloading when I'm not using the internet, uh, I'll have to look into that. Um, it'll also maybe show my. Oh, my buddy, uh, one of my buddies who uses i3, he has a setup to where it tells him if there are any packages he needs to update. That's cool, right? Um, speaking of any packages I need to update, I'm going to update my packages right now. Let's see. Whoa, I have lots of stuff to update. You know, I've recently switched from Yay to Peru. Uh-oh. Uh, NVIDIA Utils will be installed before... Okay. 
I've been using Peru and not, um, Yay. Oh, yeah! Uh, oh, uh, the Linux 5.9 kernel will take now, the, like, the LTS kernel, I believe. Um, if you don't know what that means, LTS is basically a long-term support kernel, and so that means it'll be supported for, like, like, 10 years or something absurd. I don't know how long exactly. A long time, right? And, uh, a lot of Linux distros use that, um, pretty much, right? So, so a lot of Linux distributions use that kernel, right? And so the last LTS kernel what, was, I think, like, I don't know, like kernel 4 or something, and it's been around for like 10 years. So if you want a system that never updates and that you're 100% sure will work all the time, for sure, except for, like, security stuff, I'm sure, um, then you'd get an LTS... Uh, software you get an LTS operating system but since they changed the LTS kernel uh, all these LTS softwares all, all these LTS distributions are gonna have to make new LTS versions so uh, yeah and that also means that the new LTS versions are going to have to use a new kernel of course <laughs> I just realized I'm, I'm basically just Luke Smith right now uh, I, 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 I don't mean to be Luke Smith I'm not a eugenicist uh, I'm kidding. He ma he makes good content, but uh, I don't know. I'm not too sure about his political opinions. I hope this isn't showing too much at all. Um, for the record, I can also uh, is this highlighted correct? Yeah. So I can also move this like down here and over here and up here and down there. See. Whoa, isn't that so cool? Whoa, yeah, whoa. I'm also, uh, let me move this over here. I'm also trying to use this thing called a ranger. Uh, I'm not too sure how it's going to work. Uh, it's just it's just annoying. It's basically this file manager, because if I were to open up Dolphin right now, um, it's real big and bright, and it's annoying, and it doesn't make any sense, right? I, I just really don't enjoy it. And so, uh, I don't know. It only really works well with Plasma. So I'm trying to use this, like, 2 megabyte file thing. And it's actually really nice so far, except the only issue is that, uh, you know, I can't... The only issue is that, uh... Sorry, sorry, the only issue is that it's just, like hard like I, I there's a lot of things to customize and like for example when I open a text document it doesn't open in nano it opens in vim and there's no GUI uh, oh there's an update to P Peru hold up uh, yeah. uh, yeah here we go update to Peru see sure uh, I recently switched from Yay to Peru. Peru is a AUR manager, so basically Arch has this thing called the main repository, which is like all the stuff that's like confirmed to work with Arch and it installs fine perfectly. Um, and then there's the AUR, which is basically um, just anything, anything, anybody can put things on there. Um, and so there are these things called AUR managers, because usually on the AUR, You'd have to git clone it from GitHub, and then you have to compile it, and you have to do the make install and stuff. Uh, with this, oh, I'm sorry if my stream is, I'm sorry if my video is lagging out. I'm currently compiling something. Uh, but with Peru, or Yay, right? Uh, it does that all on its own, as if you're you you as if you were using Pacman, you know. So it just really automates it, really simplifies it. And uh, the developer is stepping down from Yay and moving to Peru, another AOR helper. Oh, they're called AOR helpers, not managers. And um, I'm not too sure why, because they seem to be literally exactly the same, except uh, it compiles things and then installs them instead of compiling everything and then installing everything. Uh, which, I don't know. He says it makes the code simpler, so I don't care really. Um, it seems to be stuck here. What's it doing? Peru. It doesn't seem to be doing anything that would take too long. Unless I'm just uneducated. 
You know, also, I, there used to be these big old borders around here. Like, it said the name of what was open and stuff. But I realized, hey, I can see what's open. I don't need to know what's open. You know what I mean? So, uh, I, I just kind of I just kind of stopped that. Uh, plus, it saves, it saves screen space, too. I don't know why you'd want to know what's open. Because you can see it. You know? You can see what's open. Yeah, it's taking a while. Oh. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh Also, the reason why I have such a bright wallpaper, usually I have a dark wallpaper. The reason why I have such a bright wallpaper is cuz uh it's it's good to contrast with the background. It's good contrast. I'm planning to get a new one, but uh for now this works. All right. Uh whoa, 10 minutes. That's crazy. 11. 11 minutes. All right. Uh see ya, dude.